Hey guys, another quick video for our English friendly Japan playlist. We've had some pretty awesome weather in Japan the last couple of weeks, so we've taken that as an excuse to have another barbecue. And of course, we can't have a barbecue without ordering a box of goodies from the meat guy. We showed you the meat guy before and some of the goodies that we order from him. So we had a look, they've got a couple of barbecue packs that are really good, that are sort of like the, the entire barbecue ready to go in a box. But there was a couple of special things we wanted off the menu. So this time we decided just to go with some random bits and pieces that we thought we wanted to try and also a couple of old favourites that we really enjoy. So our friends ordered some different stuff and this is what we went with. So it usually turns up about 36 hours. It depends. You can actually say when you want the delivery to arrive. So morning, afternoon, evening and which you pick a date and it will arrive at that time and date. Menu there of goody things. So we went with the crocodile guys again. Crocodile cubes and they also send you a bunch of skewers. So the, the cubes are already tasty. They've already put the spices and yumminess on them and all you have to do is just put them on the skewers. So we've done that before and we love them. Just about every time we do it, most of the people will say that the tastiest stuff on the hot plate is the crocodile. It's really, really good. There's the duck. Duck's always good. And then sometimes we get cuts of meat. This time we went with the cubes because we wanted skewers. And so they have beef cubes and it's actually made with the same meat they make the good cuts with. So it's the same same meat, but it's just cut into cubes. So it's off cuts off the prime cuts already. So it's the same quality meat, but it's already in cubes, which means that you just feed it, put them onto the skewers and off you go. And then, of course, we can't order stuff from the meat guy without getting a couple of pies. So the Aussies watching this who are living in Japan will get really excited at seeing a Billy's pie. They've got chicken ones, beef and kidney, steak and kidney and some others, but... We always get the beef. We like the beef. Excellent. Those of you who haven't tried those before, if you're in Japan, get a couple of pies, try them, and get this crocodile. That's the crocodile. The first time we bought it was years ago. We bought crocodile from the meat guy as a bit of a novelty. And now we buy it just because we like it. Because it really is excellent. There's no fat on it. It's got a consistency, sort of like a chicken or fish sort of texture and it's not a strong gamey taste or anything it's a fairly sort of a subtle taste it's really good really really good so that's the beef that was really good as well we also had some pork the other guys had some pork and some other stuff that they'd bought and it was all good everything on the hot plate was good but there's the duck the duck was good but yeah, just about everybody says the crocodile's their first choice just because it's just really good so if you're going to buy from the meat guy if you're going to have a barbecue, they do have barbecue sets. They're really good as well. Have a look at them. They've also got um, full-size turkeys for Christmas and stuff like that. And those of you who live in Japan will know trying to find a full-size bird in Japan is really difficult. And trying to find one that's cooked properly the way we like it is difficult as well. So these guys have got the full-size birds. They have all the normal barbecue stuff as well, the steak and things like that, and all the different cuts of meat. So there's the crocodile. See the cubes, look, it's, um, what's that, about 680 yen. So it's really good value as well. It's not expensive. There's some of the other stuff. The duck was excellent. So we barbecued it. Of course, you can you could be more upmarket and, and fashionable and trendy in your cooking. There's the pies. So... There'll be a link underneath this video. Check it out. If you're in Japan and you're wanting any of these things, and there's a lot of other stuff we haven't shown you as well. If you're missing stuff from home, you might just find it on their website. So we put them on the English-friendly directory because obviously they're English-friendly. There also is going to be a link underneath this video that you can use to, to go to their page. And also there's a very short list of companies on our highly recommended list, and the meat guy's on there, and the meat guy's been on there for, for a few years. And the reason is they're consistently good quality with their products, consistently good service with the customers, and 
really nice people to deal with. So they've got an excellent reputation in Japan, as, as lots of you already know. So anyway, there they were, the meat guy. More videos coming soon.